Hi students, how are you all? Today we will discuss that how to find the density of a solid. Yes. And then we will see how to find the density of a liquid. So let us discuss how to find the density of a solid first. For that we have to find two things. First of all mass of that solid and then volume of that solid. To find the mass of a solid you know we require a device we call it physical balance. Yes. Uh, physical balance you can see the photo of the physical balance which is displaying on your screen you see the device and uh, to find the volume of a solid we require a special type of cylinder we call it measuring cylinder here it is displaying you can see that so physical balance measuring cylinder First of all, we have to use this physical balance to find the mass of that solid. Yes. After measuring the mass, we'll take this measuring cylinder. Now, by using this measuring cylinder, how will you find the volume? Let's see. See. This is the measuring cylinder. In measuring cylinder, we see different marks are there. See. Like this. See, this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 centimeter cube it's given now what is our target our target is to find the volume of that solid because the mass we can calculate by that physical balance and volume will get by using this measuring cylinder and then we need to calculate them how to calculate that I'll tell you later first let us find the volume of the solid. Now, so this is my measuring cylinder and we will pour water into it. Say the water level is at 50. This much water I have taken. Now, say this is the stone whose density I want to find. Density. its density I'll calculate. So, let us consider that by using the physical balance, I got the mass of that stone. Say mass of the stone is 50 gram. So, what is the mass? 50 gram. Now, we will find its volume. For volume, we are using this measuring cylinder with water level till 50 degrees, sorry, 50 centimeter cube. Till 50 centimeter cube, I have taken water. Now this is the stone. Now tie this stone with a thread. Yes, by using a thread, you tie this stone. And slowly, you immerse this stone completely inside water. Like this, see, this is the thread and we are inserting that stone. Understood? When you have inserted the stone inside water, what you will notice? The water level will go down. No? Yes, water level will not go down. Water level will go up. Say now, water level is here at 70 so initially 
it was at 50 after when we have immersed the stone then the water level raised to 70 so initially it was at 50 finally it was at 70 so what is the volume of this stone volume of the stone is final minus initial that is 70 minus 50 70 minus 50 is 20 centimeter cube so we got the mass by using a physical balance we got the volume by using this measuring cylinder after getting mass and volume we will find the density we know that density equal to mass by volume yes this is the formula to calculate density density equal to mass by volume so what is the mass 50 gram what is the volume 20 centimeter cube now 5 by 2 that is 2.5 gram per centimeter cube so in this way we can calculate the density of a given solid i hope you understood now i will show you how to find the density of a liquid for that we require a special kind of bottle we call it density bottle let me draw it we call it density bottle now what you have to do first of all we have to uh, somewhere we have to mark say here I am marking this much and I have to fill this bottle up to this mark with water right and then I have to fill this bottle with that liquid whose density I want to find so first what you have to pour water and then that liquid but before that you have to calculate the mass of this empty bottle how to find the mass of this empty bottle by using a physical balance I told you I shown you a figure of that fine so let us find the mass of this empty bottle first let mass of of the empty bottle equal to say empty bottle is m1 understood mass of the empty bottle is m1 means when water or liquid are not there now insert liquid pour liquid in it which liquid whose density you want to find yes say kerosene I want to find the density of kerosene so pour kerosene up to this mark fine now we have got kerosene here and find the mass of this bottle including kerosene say mass of the bottle plus kerosene equal to say m2 understood now can you tell me what is the mass of kerosene from this two what is the mass of only kerosene correct mass of kerosene equal to kerosene equal to m2 minus m1 because m2 is the total mass of the bottle plus kerosene and m1 is the mass of only bottle so what is the mass of kerosene kerosene is m2 minus m1 yes m2 minus m1 fine now empty this bottle means now fill this bottle with water 
सो नाउ दिस बोटल इज फिल्ड विथ वॉटर एंड अगेन यू फाइंड द मास ऑफ दिस बोटल से मास ऑफ द बोटल प्लस वॉटर फर्स्ट वी हैव टेकन द मास ऑफ बोटल प्लस कैरोसिन नाउ वी आर टेकिंग द मास ऑफ द बोटल प्लस वॉटर से दिस इज एम थ्री इक्वल टू एम थ्री so can you tell me what is the mass of water only water mass of water equal to yes m3 minus m1 m3 minus m1 got it now we know that the volume of वन ग्राम वाटर इक्वल टू वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब यस यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस डेटा यू आर यू हैव टेकन वन ग्राम ऑफ वाटर दैट मीन्स द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दैट वॉटर इज वन सेंटीमीटर क्यूब अंडरस्टेड सो आई एम राइटिंग दैट डाटा है सी फॉर वाटर this is applicable only for water if mass equal to 1 gram then its volume will be 1 cm cube i said only for water not for other liquids only for water mass equal to 100 1 gram so volume equal to 1 cm cube got it so in this way i can say that if mass is If mass of water is m3 minus m1, then what is the volume of the water? If mass is one gram, then volume is one. So if mass is mass of water is m3 minus m1, then what is the volume of water? m3 minus m1. Correct. So volume of water, water equal to m3 minus m1. understood now we know that if you want to find the volume of a container then we should pour water into it how much water is containing that is the volume of that bottle we know that like uh, for example like if i uh, say you that uh, when we buy a pepsi bottle pepsi or coca cola any cold drinks bottle we see that on the level of that bottle it's written that 2 liter that means 2 liter is the volume of that liquid i mean pepsi which is stored in that bottle so volume of the liquid is 2 liter so in this way this is the density bottle if i ask you what is the volume of water which we poured volume of water is this what is the volume of kerosene volume remains same whatever the liquid you are pouring so pepsi bottle when you are buying a pepsi bottle if 2 liter is the volume of pepsi is there then when the when you have finished the whole pepsi and you are pouring water into it then the volume of that water will also 2 liter like pepsi yes whatever the liquid you are pouring the volume will remain same volume does not change for a container volume does not change volume is fixed so in this way what is the volume of water that will be the volume of kerosene so what is the volume of water that will be the volume of kerosene so what is the volume of kerosene kerosene equal to M three minus M one because volume of water is M three minus M one, so volume of kerosene is also M three minus M one. Now we will find the volume, sorry, density of kerosene. So what is the density of kerosene? I told you density equal to mass by volume. Whose density you are finding? Kerosene. What is the mass of kerosene? Mass of kerosene M two minus M one. M two minus M one by 
what is the volume of kerosene because we are doing density density equal to mass by volume mass we have written what is the volume of kerosene volume of kerosene equal to m3 minus m1 m3 minus m1 okay so in this way by using this formula i can calculate the density of any liquid say mustard oil kerosene oil alcohol any liquid i can find the density by using this formula but one more thing you have to remember while deriving this relation i have used this data that is mass equal to 1 gram and volume equal to 1 cm cube so the unit of mass is gram unit of volume is cm cube that means wherever you are writing mass so this all are gram this all are mass of kerosene this gram mass of bottle plus water gram mass of water gram volume of water cm cube volume of kerosene cm cube that means mass is gram and volume is cm cube so in this way whatever answer you will get that will be in gram per cm cube you understood by using this formula whatever the result you are getting the unit of that result will be gram per cm cube understood so i taught you how to find the density of a solid and you have seen how to find the density of a particular liquid you understood thank you